as I walk through the valley. Wait, we ain't even walking. We're driving in a boat, so that's not going to work. No, I'm, <laughs> I should have come up with something else. All right, so in this episode, we're back at the valley. We're going to be catching some of the Pokemon that we didn't get last time. Also, we're going to be activating that switch here at the end of the valley that I unfortunately didn't do last time. I want to start off by throwing a bunch of pester balls at these magic carps that keep jumping out of the water. Because what we want to do is get the magic carp to eventually wash up to the shore where that man key is waiting. Because man key, watch this. Punch! Man key did falcon punch! And the magic carp just went flying. So that's going to come back later. You will see if you haven't already seen it before. I just think that little bit of animation is funny. All right, so we're also throwing a bunch of pester balls in the water. Try to get a shot of Goldeen, but Goldeen's jumping like as high as I jump, like an inch off the ground. What's wrong with you? Why can't you jump like Dratini? Look, Dratini's got skills. Goldeen, you jump like me, one inch off the ground. You have no vertical leap. All right, so there's Sand Slash and also Graveler. All right, so and we're just going to leave the Geodudes alone. Ignore them trying to bump and ground on the rocks. That's just weird. All right, Goldeen, why can't you jump out of the water higher? I know you're white, but still, get some ups. You know what Goldeen needs? She needs, like, some of those moon shoes. Like, put them on her flippers or something. Because I want to get a good picture of you. I don't want to come back to the valley again for, like, the 18,000th time. All right, so just keep throwing some pester balls since we don't have anything else to do. There goes a star you. Let's see. Why are you going up so high? See, star you can jump out of the water high. Goldeen, why can't you do this? Star you's just like bragging now. He's like, look. All right, so there's some grapplers, a trio. This is what I wanted to see over here, though. This is that magic carp, that manky punch. Look at that distance that he put on it. So we throw some pester balls at it. It jumps into the waterfall. Oh, no. Apparently, jumping into waterfalls is what makes magic carp evolve. I always thought you had to train them up to level 20, but no. You just have to make them jump into a waterfall. And it acts like 20 rare candies, I guess, or something like that. So there's Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon in this game, just because it looks so cool when it shoots that water blast out. But I don't think we got a shot of it when it was hurling water at us. But we did get plenty of good shots. We had to at least get one good shot. I think I took like 30 just of Gyarados. All right, so right over through here. If we had taken a picture of that star you, we'd have had it spinning around us. And it would have jumped in the little whirlpool. And then we could have got a picture of star me, but no. All right, so what I want to do is you want to line up these squirtles. So, ah, uh, that's not it. What you want to try to do is line up the squirtles so that they go up the top of the mountain and hit the main key up here. Right there, that guy right there. So you want to wait that last squirtle, line him up directly up with that main key. And what's going to happen is the main key will fall down the mountain and then he will activate the switch or we can hit him again and then he will go over to the switch. But alas, he's not down here because I didn't line the squirtles up. So we're not going to open the switch after all this time. You made a liar out of me, game. Curse you. Now everybody's not going to believe anything I say. They're like, ah, oh, you said you were going to activate the switch, and you failed. Well, sue me. I didn't count on myself being this suckish in this game. All right. We did get a couple of extra Pokemon, some new Pokemon in this game. I don't know. I don't want to take a picture of Magikarp. I'm done with you, Magikarp. All right. So let's go back to the lab again so we can get graded. That's what I always feel like at this part of the game. It's like, all right, hand in your homework. We're going to go over this. Like, no, video games shouldn't have grades. It should just be like you complete the level and that's it. I don't want to score on it. All right, so let's see. Dratini, it's a nice shot of your butt. Why is there purple stuff coming out of you? That's a not bad shot. I guess I'll go with that one. It's doing a nice little flip. All right, there's Sand Slash. Uh, let's see. All right, so we will do that. And we got Mankey, another Sand Slash, but that one's a little bit smaller. Graveler, yeah, I guess we use that picture. And what else we got? Uh, that Star U is way lame compared to our other ones. So I don't think we're going to show him any Star U's. All right, here's our montage of Gyarados. This is like one of those uh, flipbook animations. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool right there. Let's see, do I have a better one? Oh, we actually did get him shooting fire, or shooting fire. We got him shooting water out, yes. I have the only Gyarados who knows Flamethrower. It's very rare, and it's not hacked at all. It's just, it was one of those crazy red Gyaradoses, and somehow it knows, it's a fire type. It's very weird. It's my ace in the hole. It's my secret weapon. When I go to all these Wi-Fi battles, they're like, oh, Gyarados, I know how to get around that. They don't expect me to pull out the fire type move. They're like, what? How is that legal? And I'm like, I don't know. It just is. 
I'm just awesome like that. Alright, so, this is Mankey, and this one's even worse than our last one, if that's even possible, and the last one was pretty suckish. Alright, so here's Gyarados. This is gonna be the big money. Size, not bad. It showed its face a thousand points! Alright, the Pokemon's right in the middle of the frame, so we get a double score. Almost four thousand points, not bad. So yeah, he's still talking about that suspicious switch. Don't remind me. Alright, we're gonna jump ahead now back into the tunnel. I'm just gonna show you the only new Pokemon that I'm getting right now. We are gonna get Magneton. I didn't get this before because the last time we were here after we had the Pokemon food, what I was using them for is so I could like explode that electrode over there and open up the new path. But now we're gonna come back here and get this next Pokemon. Come on guys, turn around, turn around. I don't wanna see three butts. Well, maybe Todd Snap, the actual character does, but I don't. Nintendo LP just wants to take a picture and go home, get out of here so I can get on with my life. All right, so one of those is probably a decent shot of Magneton. Now get out of our way or we will run you over in our super awesome vehicle that Professor Oak designed for us that doesn't look weird at all. It actually looks, yeah, it looks weird, but it's still cool. All right, so here's Magneton, 430 points for the size, 800 for the pose. Technique, you know we hooking up with that double score. All right, that was very wonderful. And now we are up to 52 kinds of Pokemon and Professor Oak still going on and on about the darn bowling. All right, so what I'm gonna show right now is just a couple new shots that I got on the beach. We've already been through the beach, so I'm not going to run through the whole course again. I'm just going to show you my new upgraded photos. The way I got this picture of Meowth is just throwing a pester ball at that first mouth that we see who's up on the ledge. He comes down and starts making weird faces at you. I think this Chansey pose is not actually going to be any better. Well, I mean the pose is better, but the overall picture is not as good since it was a little bit smaller. This Kangaskhan pose should be a little bit better because the size definitely better. Pose is the same. So yeah, we improved our score a little bit. That's always a good wow. thing to do. All right, so this Pidgey shot probably is not better than our other one, but I just wanted to show off that you do get special points if you show it when it's doing the gust attack. It's one of the specials in this game, so I just thought I'd show it off. And yeah, we're just gonna stick with our old one because it's like worth three times as much. So go away, gust attack Pidgey. We don't want to see you anymore. So we still have 54 kinds of Pokemon, which means there's only nine more left to go. All right, here we are, descending in to the cave. What we want to do when we first start out, this is how we are going to get a good shot of Grimer, and then also how we're going to get a good shot of Mutt. So the first Grimer that we see, we're going to take a picture of it, even though it's going to be like a cruddy picture, because this is what I'm told how you can unlock the Grimers. What you have to do is make sure you photograph the first ones that you see. So we're just going to take a picture, even though there's no way that we're actually going to show any of these to Oak, because they are lame. So we're going to keep making our way through here where the trio of Bulbasaur's are. And look, then, once we take pictures of the first two, we get to see this guy. So you can actually get a decent shot of that guy. And then it's this last guy right over here who's going to appear after we photograph him. And this is the one that we're going to want to throw like three or four pester balls at. Or you're going to have to hit it three or four times. If you're like me and aim suckishly, you're going to have to throw like 20 pester balls to actually hit it three or four times. But eventually, if we do it enough, He's gonna evolve, and there you see him. That's one ugly muck. Turn around, man. Come on, we wanna see you. Smile for the camera. Aw, oh, you look beautiful. It looks like he's giving us the finger. He's like, screw you. I didn't wanna evolve. Nobody asked me what I wanted to do. It's like on that show when Pikachu was like, I don't wanna turn into Raichu. Pikachu would've totally gave Ash the finger, but nah. All right, seriously, coughing. I'm oh, sorry about that, Jigglypuff. Get away. All right, I mean, wheezing. Wheezing or coughing? Now I'm confused. All right, whoever you are, Team Rocket, yeah, I just had a momentary, forgot all of my Pokemon knowledge, which wasn't very, uh, I didn't know a lot about Pokemon to begin with, and now I'm already mixing stuff up just because I'm off my game. All right, so we want to throw some apples at this Weeping Bell, much the same way that we did when Charmeleon was by the Lava Pit. We throw it in here, and da 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 you don't need no leaf stone to turn into Victory Bell. Nah, you just need to get wet. That's how they change the game. Pokemon Snap. It's forever changing Pokemon history or something like that. Zubat, put Pikachu down. So yeah, if we can actually hit the Zubat, we can free Pikachu. And then we can get a good shot of Pikachu later on. But I apparently am not coordinated enough 
to throw apples or pester balls even at a moving target. Zubat, I hate you. This is why nobody likes you, because you're picking on Pikachu. He's the star of the show. You can't do that. All right, so over here, we got some more Jinxes. As usual, this egg that we can't open yet, so we'll just have to, like, mysteriously wonder what's inside. I know a lot of you guys know what's inside, and you're probably going to leave comments spoiling it for the rest, but don't do that, because maybe somebody hasn't played this game before. And then they would say, oh, no. No, whatever. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Ah, uh, there's Jigglypuff. You know what? I've already heard this song before. And it was better as a duet. So stop singing. Shut up. Stop. Jigglypuff. Done with this. Oh no. I feel bad now. Look at her eyes. Her eyes look like a freaking Poliwhirl belly or Poliwag. I forget which one goes that way. Alright, so. Oh, Jigglypuff is back. So no harm, no foul. I mean, it was a really jerk move for us to throw apples at Jigglypuff while she was having a concert. But she seemed to get over it. She went right back to finish her song, so she's a trooper. That's what you always learn. The show must go on. So even if there's hecklers out in the crowd, like, there's probably some hecklers out in the crowd wanting to throw tomatoes at me. They're like, how could you do that to Jigglypuff? I hate you, Nintendo LP. I'll never watch one of your videos again. Jigglypuff is the best, nicest, coolest Pokemon ever. Sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and show off the picture of Muck. Muck is giving us the middle finger because he knew what I was going to do later in that course. He was like, I hate you for picking on Jigglypuff. All right, let's see. Do I have a better victory bell? This one's good because it has his eyes open. I like to look into the face of the thing that sucks up James from Team Rocket. Oh, look at Jigglypuff. She's very angry. I'm going to go ahead and show that to Oak. Even though it's not going to be as good a score as the duet when they're singing, I just want to see what Oak's reaction is. He's going to be like, what did you do to Jigglypuff? You made that girl mad. All right, so let's see. Grimer, we're already way better than the last one because the last one didn't even count. So now we got 2,500 points. That's a big improvement, like 10 times the score. All right, so here's Mug. Size is small. Pose. That pose should get like 8 million points. It's flicking us off. All right, Victory Bell. This one should be pretty good. It's a nice big one. Size is 790. Pose. It's not doing anything. It's just like chilling out, but whatever. I can never figure out what poses are going to be good and what's not. All right, Jigglypuff's picture's already here. We don't get the special points? Why? I guess because it wasn't singing. Oh, it likes the pose, not as much as the singing pose. All right, so yeah, definitely not as good as the last one. The last one got over 4,500 points. That one was kind of lame. But we do add some new Pokemon. So now there are 56 out of the possible 63. We are back once again to the valley, and this is going to be probably the last time we're at the valley, hopefully, if I can do it right. No, probably not the last time. Cause see those mountains over there that look kind of like a Doug Trio? They're going to come into play later. I won't say how now, but yeah, just trust me. They're going to come into play later. So this time, for reals, I'm going to activate the switch. I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to mess up. And I'm going to take a darn picture of Goldine. Goldine, there you are. Ah, oh, it actually jumped out of the water long enough for me to take a picture, and I was just too darn slow. What happened to my reflexes? Where did they all go? I just, like, lost them all from sitting around and not utilizing them properly. I don't know. Must be getting very old. I can't take pictures of Pokemon like I used to, but back in the day, I was a real shot shooter when it came to Pokemon photography. Oh, look at that. That was a great shot at Dratini. All right, so way over yonder on the horizon, we got the same... Shut up, Magic Cart. We got the same Graveler and Sand Slash. I think we got a decent picture of Graveler that time before he went up and started doing some bow chicka wow wow with the mountainside because that's just how these rock types get down over here hey i see you over there i don't know what you're doing he's like doing a one-handed lean different position thing it's very weird very strange i'm not going to touch on that subject anymore and i'm not looking back that's for certain i do not want to see what's going on behind me all right so let's go down the white rider rapids this is like one of those uh, rides that you go to at the amusement park it's so much fun where's the like water squirters they're gonna soak us yeah, where was the warning sign that says you will get wet? All right, so this is what I messed up doing last time as well. If we take a picture of that star you right there, it's going to, like, stalk us for, like, the rest of the whole level. No, it's going to, like, spin around us for a while because it's like, oh, you like my picture? Get me from this angle. Get me from this angle. So it's like, it's our new girlfriend, I guess. It's like, oh, I love you, Todd Snap. You're the greatest. So we're just going to keep it around us. I'm not even going to worry about trying to take photos of any other Pokemon. I don't know if you lose it or not if you start taking pictures of other Pokemon, but I don't need any pictures of anybody else, so I'm just going to keep it with us. And then once we get down to the Whirlpool, it's going to evolve to Starmie. Yes, Starmie. 
the most awesome of water types ever. All right, so this time we're not gonna mess up. Gotta save my last Squirtle, and I'm gonna wait till I get over here so I can actually line it up a little bit better. Come on! All right, so we have a straight line shot up to the Mankey, and that's what I call Squirtle Bowling. All right, so hopefully. He's going to be down on the other side of the mountain, somewhere over by the switch over here. And then what we want to do when we see him, come on, let's go around this bend. We've been like turning for like a half an hour. Okay, what we want to do after we take a picture of Jotini, throw a pester ball at him. Yeah, we see you. And then he's going to like do a flip over and open that gate, pressing the last switch of the game. Yes, we have done it. We have unlocked all the switches in the game. Look at the water here. This is like a nice place. I want to go here. I've like never been to a beach that the water was actually oh. that blue. What the? What is going on here, Professor Oak? He's like, oh, hi, Todd. What a surprise to see you here. I suppose you'd like to know why I am here. Well, is this like where you take Mrs. Ketchum for her romantic getaway? I received some interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. Yeah, I'm going back to that voice. It seems that there are six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. They have something to do with important Pokemon that are here. The signs are scenery which seem to resemble Pokemon. One sign is a mountain that looks like Dugtrio. I came here to look for it. Well, it was in the valley. However, I can't go any deeper in the island so I can't find it. Why are you like angry? He's like scowling at us all of a sudden. Have you seen a mountain that looks like a Dugtrio? Oh, I have an idea. If you find this Pokemon sign, take a picture of it like you would a Pokemon. We might discover clues from the pictures and places where you took them. Shall I repeat this information? Yes, please. I want to hear it on a loop, like, for nine times. All right, so he's going to add a Pokemon signs page to the Pokemon report. Let's check on the camera. See what Oak has to say, how well we did on the valley course. Jeez, I took 40 pictures? All right, I think, like, nine-tenths of them, 90% of them were of this Dratini doing an awesome flip. So I'm going to show him that one. I don't think I still managed to get a good shot of Goldeen, or even a shot of Goldeen. Let alone, um, let's see, that's not a good one. Let's see, what else? We have a, uh, I guess I'll use that Mankey. It might not be any better than the ones I already have. This one's a little bit better than that. Where's my Starmie? That's what I want him, a Starmie. That's a bad shot of that Starmie. Let's see, do I have a better one? I think this one's like a little bit cut off at the top, but it's like so much bigger, so I don't know. That one has his back turned. Let's see, this one's like centered more... I know what, screw it. I'm going to go with the big one, and if he takes off points for it, we'll just take another shot. But I'm going to go with bigger is better, because it's like my last girlfriend said, size matters somehow. <laughs> All right, so here's the Mankey, and let's see. Ooh, it's doing a flip there. Can't really see its face. I don't know how good a score we're going to get for that one. We're just going to have to see. I honestly don't know if Mankey's going to count for much. So here's the star. I mean, let's see if I picked good. Oh, wow, we get a 1,000 for Pose. I didn't know. I thought he might take off because we, like, cut off the little top portion. But apparently it was good enough. All right, so let's check out this Dratini. The size is bigger. Pose is the same. Technique should be the same. So, yeah, we improve our points a little bit. All right, so size is worse. Let's see. Oh, it's Mankey in the sky. What? Mankey in the sky? No, it's not. It's on the ground. We, like, knocked it over. Maybe it's, like, just about to hit the ground. So, wow, I'll take that. That was, like, way more points than I expected to get. So we add yet another new Pokemon, and now that we have done that, when we unlock the last switch, we are going to get something that's going to make our search for Pokemon signs easier. Wouldn't it be great if the Zero One moved faster? Well, now you can use this dash engine when you want to go faster, 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 faster. It's easy to use. Press the R button to make the Zero One go faster. Yeah, and if you're playing on the virtual console like I am using the GameCube controller, it's going to be the R button as well. So the same exact controls. Next time around, we are going to be collecting all six of those Pokemon signs. So see you then for more Pokemon Snap.